What's good, Smoke Nation? Welcome back to another episode. I'm out here in sunny Chicago. We in the woods right now, as you can see. Smoking woods. So let's just go ahead and get straight into the content. I'm not here to waste your time. (sighs) Today's episode is about the law of assumption and how you must live in the end to get what you want. You must be to become. You must have and not want. Start out with a little story. Last weekend I went out, we went to this rave. My boy calls me up, I haven't seen him in like 10 years. He's like, yo, what's good? I wanna catch up. I'm like, all right, let's catch up. I thought he wanted to just go to a local bar and you know, just shoot the shit, but no, he he was like, there's this rave going on, let's go to it. I'm like, oh, so you wanna turn up like that, like that? He's like, yeah, I'm like, all right, bet, let's go. So we, it was something where they give you the address 15 minutes before it's you know underground or whatever but it started at 12 we ended up getting there about 1 30 but right when we got there the cops just showed up and busted the whole thing but it was cool because my boy was actually playing at a club DJing that night at 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. so we ended up going there anyways even though I knew that the uh, the rave was gonna may or may not get shut down I knew we had something else going on so everything was good the assumptions were fine so we go we turn up I guess there was bottle service or whatever. We, we had a couple drinks. Cool, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Support, shout out to DJ Simone. You know who you are. If not, he's on my shorts and stuff. You could probably check him out there. So after that, about 4 a.m. or whatever, 4.20, we end up going back to his studio, which was down the block, and we, I guess, smoked up. Everything was cool. We were just in a post game there. And then all of a sudden, I guess, we got called for to go to an Afties event which is like, you know, until who knows, 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. or something. We get into the Uber, we go there, we come out, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh no, I lost my phone. I don't have my phone on me, guys. I think I left it in the car. After that initial emotionalness, I just was like, all right, well, whatever. I'll just get in the morning because I knew it wasn't gone. I knew I didn't lose it. It was just in this guy's car. And if it wasn't in this car, it was in my homie studio. So I knew I was gonna get it tomorrow. I'm like, well, all right, well, whatever. I can't get it right now. Why should I worry about it? I already have it. It's it's just somewhere right now that I'll get tomorrow, whatever. Started fucking jamming to the music. Got a drink. I was like, you know, my my boy had just finished rolling a blunt. We smoked it. It was great. So I was having a great time. So obviously I was assuming I have it because I did have it. Um, didn't really care. I literally forgot all about it. Did not tweak out about it at all. My emotions were, were fucking on point. Living in the end. Because I already had it. <sighs> fucking 20, 30 minutes later, one of, one of the people in our group was like, Hey. I was like, what the hell? And then my first reaction was like, wow, that was way faster than I thought it was going to be. I thought I'd get my phone by tomorrow. I literally got it in 20 minutes. He's like, yeah, when you were getting out of the car, um, I forgot the chick's name, but she's like, he's like, yeah, she, she, she saw the phone, picked it up and gave it to me because we had the same model or whatever. He's like, I just put it in my pocket because I thought it was mine because I left mine in my little man fanny pack. I was like, oh my God. I just gave him a huge hug. I gave them both a huge hug. And I was just, the manifestations, the, the law of assumption, all that stuff is real life and it works. I mean, just having that happen to me was, was, was so awesome. It was so awesome and I just felt amazing. Actually, my, my state didn't change. I felt amazing the whole time because I was living in that end already. So this is pretty much going piggybacking off the last video off, you know, if you, if you want to be a billionaire, just act like a billionaire already. So like, you want a steak dinner, go get your steak dinner, man, chill. Like pay your bills like what rich people their bills are paid so just do that that's what that's what billionaires do they don't you know maybe they might be you know paying interest here and there on little things but whatever keep that money circulating all right live in the end law of assumption you must be to become you must have and not want to want is to lack but i digress the next episode is going to be a good one so stay tuned for that and if you haven't watched the previous episode go ahead and click on that 
yeah just live in the end sign up for the email list peace